camera, camera on the desk. Who's the cutest of them all? Not you. What do you mean it's not me? Play the two minutes transgender topic Thursday intro. Rise and shine, relates. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are talking about the basics of makeup. This video is intended for those who want to start understanding makeup. May you be a cisgendered guy or a trans woman, this video really will give you the first little insight to makeup. Well, at least that is the aim. Yeah. So, with that being said, let's put two minutes on the clock. Let's begin. The first thing you're gonna wanna do before applying makeup is make sure your skin is nice and clean. The second thing that you're gonna wanna do is find some form of moisturizer. And well, basically what the moisturizer will do is well, it will soften the dry patches and it will stop your skin becoming too oily. The third thing that you're gonna wanna do is find some foundation. When it comes to finding a foundation, you're gonna want to find something that matches your skin tone. You may not be aware, but sometimes your face can be a completely different shade in different areas of your face. Foundation will basically make your entire face just one blocked colour. Next, you're gonna wanna find a concealer that works well for you. I personally use Jekka Correct and Conceal Palette, and well, there's a reason why. The reason that I use a Jekka's concealer is because Jekka as a brand on a whole was made with trans people in mind. If you do get a five o'clock shadow, this stuff will work absolute wonders. Now a concealer, well, it will conceal slash hide any blemishes or spots or even scars. Following on from a concealer, you're gonna want to find a powder. With foundation and concealer on, your skin may look a little bit shiny and maybe a little bit oily. Well, a powder, it's gonna lessen that shine and make your skin a little bit more natural and a little bit more flat. Then I would advise you to try and find some form of mascara. When it comes to mascaras, you can find different sorts of brushes and different colors. And if you are getting into mascara for the first time, I would advise you to get a just a simple black one. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something to get you through the door. What a mascara does is that it enhances the eyelashes. And finally, you're going to want to find a lip gloss or a lipstick. My personal preference is using a lip gloss, but it really depends on what you prefer and what works well for you. You can get shiny ones, or you can get matted ones, you can get green ones, yellow ones, blue ones, it doesn't really matter whatsoever. But what you should remember about lipsticks and lip glosses is that it brings out your lips. But similar to mascara, if you're just starting off, I would definitely recommend getting something that's plain and quite simple and quite natural looking. But if you want to jump straight into bright yellow lipstick on day one, well, I'm not gonna complain. But at the end of the day, if you are trans, makeup isn't essential for you to pass better. Makeup is an art, so therefore if you enjoy doing it, do it! And well, if it boosts your confidence, again, just do it. But on that note, thank you ever so much for watching, and remember as always to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you peeps in the next video. Goodbye. Bye! Bye.